Alright, we've got heating up active. Let's do this. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. buttery smooth. Buttery smooth alert. Buttery smooth alert. Oh. Ooh. Stop trying to ape me. Ooh. Ooh. Alright guys, another video for today for Festival of the Lost. Jurassic Green is a pulse rifle that has returned to the game. So I'm reminding you to like and subscribe if you enjoy spooky season. And here it is, this is the Jurassic Green. An energy... 540 RPM pulse rifle, so think darkest before, and grid skipper. Now we have a third in the same slot. Now you do two quest steps for Eva Levante, and she will hand you this pulse rifle. It's pretty easy to get, and I believe this will be pretty farmable throughout the event. You can see the roll here. We have small bore, polygonal, ricochet, extended, heating up, adrenaline junkie, range masterwork, and a counterbalance stock. This thing is pretty nice. We're going to go into a game of Rumble and see how it feels right off the rip. First impressions. And then at the end of that match, we're going to go to d2gunsmith.com and we're going to recommend you a god roll as well as showing you all of the possible perks. So make sure you watch the video all the way to the end. As always, guys, like and subscribe and let's get into the gameplay. Ooh, ooh. Peek this while I have heating up. Come on. Crispy. Ooh. That was nice. That was my kill, sir. You stole it. You stole it from me. Oh, ho, ho. Dude. This thing with heating up active. Holy crap. It is absolutely disgusting. Oh my god, he wanted to straight line me so hard, man. I saw him at the corner of my eye on the radar. And I knew I had to backpedal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Thank you for jumping up in a prompt time. I appreciate it. Decent amount in the mag too, so... You don't always have to waste time reloading. When you get heating up active, you can just go for it, you know? Oh, that's annoying. That was my kill. That was my kill, man. Oh, I, ah. Yeah, so far, I'm absolutely loving this thing. Maybe it's just a combination of the sight and the heating up. At the end of the gameplay, I will be going over the best possible role for the weapon. So make sure you watch to the end. I should kill him. Come on. Oh, 20, 26 damage with my grenade from there. Ah, the grenades that required the most aim do the least damage. Someone explain it to me. Someone explain it to me. If I was a hunter and I threw an arc bolt there at his feet lazily, I would do 90 damage. Like, come on. Come on, huh? Uh-oh. I need to melee that guy. And then barricade. Uh, can I barricade game? Oh, forget you, man. Hiding. Little hidey boy. Little warlock hiding. Right, I'm gonna bubble right here. Five minutes remaining. Heating up plus weapons of light. Thank you very much. Alright, never mind. That didn't work out how I wanted it to. Sloppy and a greedy push. And I was rightly punished, you know? I should have held my ground in the middle. As soon as I pushed up there, I was always risking the chance of being shot in the back without being able to do anything about it, so. And now I'm probably dead, but somehow I'm alive. Stream a look. Ah, oh, yes. Beautiful. The way he jumped into my reticle as I had heating up for a brief second. Oh, heating up times two, but not enough. Oh my god, this gun is butter. Did I get him? 
Did not get him. I'll get you though. Ho ho ho! Dude, this gun is so good. Oh! Oh! Oh. Okay, there's no avoiding that. Remember as well, the roll I'm using is just the roll that you are given. I'm pretty sure it's just one roll that everybody gets. And right after, right after rip, this thing's feeling good. How many kills have you gained that game? Oh, I didn't put the tracker on. Oh, and we got an exotic. Alright guys, time to show you what the absolute god roll for this weapon is. So let's head over to d2gunsmith.com and if you enjoyed that game of Rumble, don't forget to leave a thumbs up for your boy. Much love. Alright guys, here it is. This is the Jurassic Green and now we're going to show you the absolute best possible roll. So to start off with, we're going to go with a range masterwork. See the zoom there, 17, same as darkest before. Recall direction, 50, that makes things kind of simple. How? Well, that means that you absolutely need to have a counterbalance stock which will take your recoil direction up to 65. So there is the range master work and the mod that we want. Now for our barrel option, we go with arrowhead break and we get a whopping 95, which is really, really nice. But personally, I'm a big fan of small bore because it gives you stability and range. So that's what I would go with in the barrel option. Now here, it's a pretty obvious choice in my opinion, it's ricochet rounds. Again, more range and stability. Now we're seeing at 54 range, 62 stability, which is really, really clean. Now, it all comes down to the perk options. I think Rangefinder could be pretty interesting on this gun. I haven't seen Rangefinder on a pulse rifle in quite a long time, and when I go for a god roll, this might well be the perk that I go for. Obviously, heating up is fantastic on this weapon as well, though. Killing Wind would be a great option, and yeah, Tunnel Vision as well. Subsistence, there's some pretty solid perks in this first tree. I'd say the top three are heating up. Killing Wind and Rangefinder. And we're going to go with Rangefinder simply because I haven't seen it on a rapid fire pulse before. So, yeah, Rangefinder in the first column. Now, in the second column, you're kind of limited with your options here for PvP. Dragonfly is a PvE perk. Multi Kill Clip is a great PvP perk. Unrelenting, more of a PvE perk. Adrenaline Junkie PvE. Frenzy and Wellspring. I think Rangefinder Frenzy has potential. As well as Wellspring, Range Final Wellspring could be a fantastic combination as well. But I do think Multi Kill Clip is the obvious one here. Combining Range Finder with Multi Kill Clip will probably be pretty nasty. And in the end, this is what I have come up with. We have Small Bore, Ricochet Rounds, Range Finder, Multi Kill Clip, Range Masterwork, and a Counterbalance Stock. That is, in my opinion, the best Jurassic Green roll. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already for more content. When I get my hands on a god roll, there'll be another video on this weapon as well, so keep an eye out for that. Much love, guys, and peace out.